The fleet air arm of the Royal Navy depends on the use of helicopters, just as it depends on the officers and ratings who maintain these versatile flying machines. HMS Deedless is the Royal Navy's Air Engineering School, and this is where young naval trainees get to know the ins and outs of a helicopter. As an artificer apprentice, it will be part of your theory of flight course to try out the controls of this Wessex 5 mock-up. While the collective lever controls the pitch angle of the main rotor blades, the rudder pedals alter the pitch angle of the tail rotor blades. It's a marvellous mock-up and a really sure way of getting to know how the real thing works. Maintaining fleet air arm aircraft might seem like a man's job, but we Wrens have our part to play. At Deedless, naval air mechanics, and that includes Wren air mechanics, are also put through intensive training courses. Wren air mechanics have more or less the same responsibilities as the naval air mechanics. Like the boys, we're on a 12-week training course. Helicopter general maintenance and daily inspections are all part of the job. Of course, all the really heavy jobs are left to the lads in the hangar workshop. Anyone who wants a job doing aircraft maintenance should come to Daedalus. There are scores of helicopters just sitting here, waiting to be checked out. Here, teams of artificer apprentices and trainee mechanics undertake difficult fault-finding exercises. And this doesn't mean simply opening up and having a look. You have to know exactly how to go about finding those hidden electrical and mechanical faults. Of course, the fleet air arm is also equipped with fixed wing aircraft. On this sea vixen, an air electrical apprentice and air electrical mechanic carry out continuity checks on the electrical systems. Believe it or not, this apprentice is being constructed. Smashing up an aircraft fuselage is all part of the aircraft apprentice's career course, but it's all in a good cause. Once the damage has been done, the apprentices have the difficult job of putting it right. From precise measurements, accurate drawings are prepared. Now working together, the apprentices show what they can do. To produce high quality metal work like this, apprentices need to adopt a well disciplined and delicate approach. In the fleet air arm, this artificer apprentice will carry out engine as well as fuselage repairs. There's a lot of skill involved in keeping aircraft electrical systems ship shape. This electrical mechanic is on a 16 week course at Deedalus. But fleet air arm aircraft are not simply precision metalwork and electrical finery. They are a fighting force and must be equipped for the job.
Even on a sophisticated aircraft like the Buccaneer, things can go dangerously wrong. Hence the ejection seat to quickly get pilots out of trouble. It's part of a Ryanair mechanic's general duties to ensure that the ejection seat is made safe before and after every flight. Another cockpit, this time a Sea King helicopter mock-up. If you're going to carry out responsible maintenance work, then you have to be able to read temperature, fuel and pressure gauges from the start. But these meters make easy reading, compared with the oscilloscope readings the apprentices have to make sense of. We're going to talk about overshoot and how overshoot distortion can be... Distortion on an electrical circuit. And this class of apprentices are being shown exactly how to deal with the problem, a small but important part of their four-year apprenticeship course. Network C4 Theory in the classroom, practice in the workshop. That's the Daedalus philosophy. And it means that as Daedalus apprentices, we can take the ordinary national certificate in our stride. It also means we can boast achievements, like Kitty Week, an aircraft we built ourselves. Kitty Wake is just one project resulting from the creative and industrious atmosphere that exists among the young air trainees of HMS Deedless. Kitty Wake may be small, but from small things, Big things grow. 